Hello, <laughs> mate. Brief history of the American Revolution. <laughs> oh, here it is. I'm okay. sat on it. <laughs> well, we're learning to be a bit more American. American. It's Katie, Vernon, and Ryan, and we are here in London. We've been here for two days, and we absolutely love it. So, if you guys couldn't tell, we have two extra lovely friends with us today, <laughs> Joel and Leah. And so, they live here in England, and they are going to give us some assumptions about what they think about us as Americans. Yeah. Right? American yeah. culture, yeah. people, yeah. and American stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All things America. Ooh. All things Shut America. <laughs> Hello, mate. Team Crumpets. Team Crumpets. That's going to be the first phrase I was going to say. Team yeah. Crumpets. I was about to say y'all, but then I realized that's, <laughs> that's pretty that American. No, we've started saying that and people we are like so start. proud of us for saying y'all. Well, yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, the way you y'all. say it. Y'all. I love it. <laughs> it seems so weird typing it, like Y'all. Yeah. yeah. But I'm, we're starting to do that more. Mm -hmm. Just to be more down. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> more hip. Down. Yeah. More hip. Okay, so we'll start with their first assumptions about American culture. <laughs> oh, okay. So we've thought long and hard about all of these. Mm -hmm. um, so we're hoping to find out more. Our first assumption is that American people tend to know way more about history and American history um, compared to us as Brits, we don't really know much about American history at all. Definitely. Yeah, we so watched, we were wondering we about this. We watched a video. Oh, oh right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and someone commented on your video, mm -hmm. are you still mad about the war? And you guys talked about the war like you had no idea what it was. So we you just like, don't you know what the Revolutionary War is? No. Even someone as you're saying that, I'm like, what what war? Okay, <laughs> let me just Someone take... sent a DVD to our PO box of Mel Gibson film. <laughs> My dad is Patriots. a huge Mel Gibson fan. And um, with no explanation or letter. So I put something on Instagram saying, hi, someone sent this DVD to our PO box. And we but it don't didn't come know. with a note. What was, what's it for? And I got a ton of replies saying, it's because you guys know nothing about history. <laughs> it's the funniest thing so, ever. So, yeah, because my laugh. Basically, what happened was we, some people from England, I guess, went to America because they didn't want to be a brief history of the American Revolution. Yeah, yeah. they okay. didn't. They didn't want to be part of England anymore. They didn't want to have to pay taxes because they went came to America and they found it. Yeah. And then they were paying taxes on English things, and they're like, "Whoa, we want to be our own country." Yeah. So they stayed in America, or. The 13 colonies, yeah. which are the, like the East Coast. Yeah. People from England were like, whoa, you can't do that. And so basically, we all joined forces on the East Coast and had a whole war with your people. I mean, not your people, but <laughs> sorry, was, Joel and Leah's army. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We fought Joel and Leah to, for independence. So basically, wow. it was our independence that we were fighting for. Um, and we ended up winning, which was like kind of, kind of cool because we were like a new Huge like new no, congratulations thank you is that something to do with tea in the harbor yes is that yeah. Yeah. The tea yeah. 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 yeah boston tea party boston tea party boston tea party so uh -huh. they wanted us it to pay taxes was it a a tea party in boston yeah. it they wanted us to pay taxes on your tea so we said no and we threw it so over the ship over, uh, that's how you iced it that's why you don't have tea. You were tea. icing the tea. Oh my god. It's oh. mind blowing. <laughs> that emoji that's like. Yeah. <laughs> but really, it, like, that's the most important part of like, our That's all like of what you learn about when you're That's like yeah. the founding yeah. of the United yes. States. Isn't it funny so. that we don't learn anything? It's that? crazy. Because we learn about World War One and World War Two, so we know that America came to help us yeah. in yeah. World yeah. War II. We know that we're pretty good. We kind of started out So maybe America's just trying to divide us from Britain. I know. Let's not let it happen. Okay. I think we're good from now on. So I yeah. think you have answered that assumption that you know loads about history. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's an assumption and it's yeah. correct. You yeah. made that really idiot proof, so that was good. Because we're two <laughs> big idiots, so that's Educating really good. Educating Joel and Leah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, our second? Me. Where's my phone gone? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Where's we'll it pause gone? Pause for the second one. Oh, here it is. I'm okay. sat on it. <laughs> so kind of continuing from the history, we assume, and we've said it in our videos before, that Americans are very patriotic, more so than Brits. Like, Brits love the UK, but we don't really like, we don't fly flags and we don't no. talk about it much. Whereas in America, it seems like you guys oh, yeah. are really proud to be American. There's lots of American flags. Which is absolutely fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. One, yeah. Is, that is that true? Is that true? We're, yeah. pr we're glad that you guys assume that about us. Yeah, that's that like makes one sense. Of the biggest it's huge. American values is like just being patriotic, yeah. flying flags, yeah. being national free. Anthem. Yeah, yeah. do you do that at school? Yeah. Every day. Every day. Every day, every, every, day, every, day, every, every school, you stand up and you say the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? I pledge allegiance do it, do it. To, to the, the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. 
And then I don't know what they're they're amazing. The, what do you do if you don't know the words? You learn the words as a kid. Like, yeah. Wow. You, this is like ingrained. ingrained into your brain. Because we still don't know the words to our national anthem. No. We know it's God <laughs> save our, our gracious, gracious queen. queen. And that's it. <laughs> And, like, and then, it's really funny when you watch um, soccer or football because some of the players don't know the answer. So they just go... <laughs> <laughs> like they don't oh, it's know really it. Good. Oh, they just don't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the, try. the Pledge of Allegiance, which we say at school, and the National yeah. Anthem, which we sing at, like, sports events. Yeah. Oh. So that's way longer. Well, you could sing it oh, for so you, but it would different. take forever. Yeah, oh, okay. So okay. And both wow. of them, you put your it's, hand on your heart. That's about the War of 1812, which you guys oh. try to get back together with us, and we're like, yo, we're nah. <laughs> you were like, you didn't take us with us. Never, Getting back together. Like, ever. Yeah. Yeah, so it's about that war. I also think there's, like, different levels of patriotism yeah because like we're a really proud american family yeah. there's some people who are just like yeah we live in america i yeah. like Everyone i think in there's texas, like though. yeah texas. in texas they love texas they love texas more than america they're yeah. like we want to yeah. be our sure. own thing right yeah. they're See, gonna start their yeah, own they're they're just own pull away and just start the republic of texas yeah well they were their own country weren't they for a little bit yeah i think so that's why because all our uber drivers were like we've got enough electricity to power texas we've got enough of this to like we were like self-sufficient and we were blown away yeah yeah we loved that you got love barbecue here like yeah we don't have barbecue here or we do no, no, no. no. We're, we're talking like, about we Texas. We have no barbecue in Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so like, we've Basically got enough so meat to fun. feed yeah. Yeah. more than just For Texas. Sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you guys are very patriotic. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you guys for saying yes. that. That's yeah. okay. We love God bless the USA. Um, okay, so our next one is that American people are very generous. Uh, everyone who we have come across, mostly, has been very generous yeah. and very, very <laughs> interested. All of these are so nice about Yeah, yeah I, mean, geez, I like, feel like we bashed you. you guys oh, no. <laughs> oh, we've got some mean ones coming. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we just let your audience warm up to us <laughs> yeah, before they so hate us. <laughs> a little mid-video um, just shout out here. We filmed a video on Joel and Leah's channel not too, yeah. like, a couple seconds ago, in fact. Yeah. So definitely <laughs> go check that out. We give them our assumptions about, about English. Brain. Britain's yeah. I don't know the difference yeah. that. <laughs> so yeah. be sure to go check that out anyway back to the video yeah. so Americans it depends where you are you know like uh, New York you're There's not gonna so find as, as good a people but like I don't know agree with you. I was like, yeah, there was a man in a bagel <laughs> shop and he was so rude. Yeah, he was rude. We met the rudest person. When you're trying to get a schmear bagel, what what's it called? Sh 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 what's it called? <laughs> Something with cream cheese. Yeah. Schmear is right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the, he, he made that a little harsh. Yeah. America is okay, just very well, diverse when yeah. it comes to like, so if you go to the south, there's more like Oh, honey, and like that kind of stuff. That's what yeah. we stereotypically That's think stereotypically, of like Southern America. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So it's like they gen they tend to be more um like homegrown, like family oriented, hospitable. Yeah. There's oh, the word. Yeah. More the Southern hospitality thing. Oh, exactly. yeah. oh, I yeah. love that. And then in the north, it's a little more like. Well, those are they're all trying to get where they yeah. want to be. Yeah. And those are like, and like New Yorkers, like they're thought of as kind of like mean people who are like bump you on the street That's but like true. in the mm. end like they all um it's new york is like a special community place i also yeah. think yeah. you guys have cute english accents so when american people hear your accent they're like oh and then yeah. really nice whatever right. you want kind of <laughs> exactly. yeah. that's, yeah. how, that's how I, you want some iced tea now that's uh, how i would be uh, i i i mean i okay. i think the accent really affects yeah <laughs> i mean i would be nicer to someone with that. <laughs> yeah. how funny it's the opposite in the uk the northerners are seen as the polite ones that are a bit too friendly sometimes whereas the <laughs> southerners we're seen as a bit more cold um huh. and london is like the same as new york it's yeah. seen as its yeah. own thing very rude but yeah. then Americans that I've been to think Londoners are really polite. Yeah. But I don't know. We haven't met any Usually when you strike yeah. up That's a good. conversation really with yeah. someone, they will be nice. But if you don't mean anything to each other and you're just, you know, passing on the tube or on the street, don't expect anyone to be that nice to yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a shame. We have city life I don't really, think we've met it? anyone mean. Everyone who's been at our, like, Pubs, is that what you call them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, everyone at the pubs. People at the hotel were nice. People at the hotel, yeah, the hotel, the hotel oh, were nice yeah. too. So good. they yeah. probably know they might get a tip from you. Yeah. <laughs> so there could be that. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe that's where right. did it, this one was the generous one. Yeah. That might be where our perception comes from. With the tipping. Because you, like, yeah. I remember when before YouTube was a job, I worked in a theatre and a guy came, <gasps> American guy came in wanting to use the toilet and we weren't open yet and I'm not allowed to let anyone in. But then he was really nice. So I was like, yeah, just go, but don't 
don't tell anyone. So he went down, came back up, shook my hand, and left a twenty pound note in my hand, <laughs> and I and just walked out, and I was like. Joel, what? like, he sent me a voice WhatsApp. Yeah. You know, like, like Leah, someone just put £20 in my hand. Yeah. Because I That's let them so use the loo, cool. I was so, like, win it! Yeah. A lot of our viewers are American. Yeah, so for you guys that are American, we, like, you know how we give tips, like, for people. It's like 20%. Incredible. 20%. Eat, tip 20%. You lose 20%. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. So they just don't tip no. here. It's so. not a thing. No. It's interesting. No. No. Very it's cool. not a thing. There's obviously, like, people that work... Um, you know, in waitressing or like ser- in the service industry, get paid sort of like a, a minimum wage that's l- you can live on that wage. Yeah. So mm. you can, yeah, you yeah. can live off your wages alone. Yeah, you and they'd hope for a tip in restaurants. Yeah. But they wouldn't be angry at you or run after you if, if you, you didn't. If you didn't, if you don't like, tip, didn't even if you have the meanest, like spitting in your food. Like, oh, no. Even if you have the meanest waiter or waitress in America, you have to tip them. If you don't tip, what, would them, you go like, down to like ten? Yeah, yes. you tip like ten percent. Oh, so right. if you have a really good waitress, it's like twenty percent. Could be like thirty. Wow. Could be Sometimes. could be higher. That's insane. Yeah. But that's probably why the food to us seems cheaper in America because then we haven't accounted for yeah. the tip. So, oh. we would, we get like really sad when we're like oh that's only and then we add all the rest and we're Sales like tax oh, yeah. 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 Oh, it's oh dear yeah. but anyway so yeah. the next one um, and this might come across mean it's not supposed to but Americans to Brits come across a bit louder than we've heard than, that yeah did we've I say the that. right way around yeah. Americans come across it loud to Brits yeah is that do you think Americans are louder do you mean loud as in like just Physically like literally loud? volume and sort of like <laughs> yeah, of if they enter the room like you hear them you see you hear them before you yeah. see them that's funny that you say that because everywhere we've gone I've been like oh people must be like oh it's the Americans <laughs> because I'll walk in and I'll start screaming <laughs> and like well, and like we're just all allowed I feel like we're allowed it's probably because you got maybe Americans are more confident than Brits because we apologize must, for ourselves we're just like oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I feel like you guys think that we're like well I've heard that um, Brits think we're kind of cocky and like a little yeah. bit I boastful really, and full of ourselves. I think confidence and arrogance, I think there's a fine, there is a line, fine line, isn't there? And mm. like, I think yeah. sometimes American confidence can be mistaken for arrogance because sometimes they'll just do or say things that we wouldn't dream of, <laughs> but we deep down wish we could be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish we could be like that. No, yeah, that's just makes a sense. misinterpretation. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, we're learning to be a bit more American, American. Yeah. Yeah. No. by being like, no. Kick rocks. <laughs> yeah, get, we someone that. told us to go. They were like, "Why don't you tell your insert word here to go kick rocks?" Yeah, tell them it's a load of baloney really? and kick, kick rocks. rocks. And we were like, <laughs> we're taking like, that's rubbish. rubbish. No, that's rubbish. That's yeah. rubbish. Yeah, yeah. it was something to do with like a money thing and like a um, yeah, yeah, like a, an agreement, like a contract, a contract or something. And we were like, "No, we can't." We can't we just ask for more and they're like, "No, you tell them to kick rocks." <laughs> we were like, "Wow." That was okay. really good. That was really good. It was actually an American family channel yeah. that gave us that advice. Yeah. 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 The, the Wise Life. The Wise Life. Do you know if them? you know them. No. But yeah. Do you know them? No. Maybe a little cheeky loud. plug for their channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheeky. I think we're allowed. I'm a loud person. Yeah. 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 Like when, when Jill ran down the stairs today with the camera. She was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, <laughs> we've only spoken on email <laughs> yeah we're we're like that we, we're, when yeah. you combine all of us we get louder yeah we get oh, exponentially yeah. louder yeah. When we're but then if you together. take me out and leave me then they're way quieter okay. and then when you take ryan out and we're all by ourselves it's like, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah quiet on set please <laughs> <laughs> that's for the parents <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, the next one is that it's not unusual for Americans to be homeschooled, whereas in the UK, and that's our assumption, because we, we see and hear about it, whereas in the UK it's just, like, really rare. What's your opinion on that? Just as bad I as was homeschooled. Rare. Okay. But it was for a different... It was I was a gymnast for a while, and mm-hmm. I, it got, like, pretty serious, and so I decided to, like... This is going to sound so bad, but leave school okay. to start mm-hmm. training more often. Okay. So I was homeschooled, and then I would train and do school and train and do school. And that was, like, mm-hmm. my life. Mm-hmm. Wow. But that was for sports. But there's a lot of people, a lot of my friends actually, like, j- just came to high school, were homeschooled for their whole lives. Yeah. So wow. I, it's more of, like, a parent parental preference mm-hmm. thing based on yeah. whether or not they want them to be homeschooled. You know, yeah. it's like yeah. it's yeah. like an yeah. option. Like it's not it's not something unusual. Like if they're like, oh, I was homeschooled. You're like, like it's what? not it's, yeah. it's not yeah. like unusual. Whereas if I'd met someone who'd been homeschooled, I'd be like, it's really rare. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything fine? Like, I don't think the assumption for us is that like 
oh well school wasn't for them or they were bullied or you know something wasn't quite right there was a reason why they could not be amongst people yeah, yeah. it's not always it's like not that like a lot that. of people sports is a big reason okay um yeah. parents and their preference i guess yeah it's not like a oh they were bullied in school type of thing but yeah. i have a friend who was homeschooled all the way until high school and he's like He's fine in high school. Like, he's yeah. doing fine. Yeah. Yeah. But there's just... It, I think oh, the wow. assumption for us, or for me, might be that, oh, okay, if you're homeschooled, then you don't have much of a social life. But it's absolutely possible it's, yeah. to have yeah. a social life outside of, like, with your gymnastics. Mm-hmm. You could have had friends there and stuff. I feel like it's yeah. much tougher, though, also to come into homeschool because, like, all, almost all my friends are through water polo sports mm-hmm. and um, school. So, okay. like... It's harder um, to have. And Katie, when she was doing gymnastics, she still had like gymnastics friends, but yeah. she didn't have like this many friends because she didn't go to school. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like my school, because I went to school before and then I was homeschooled and then I went back to school. Yeah. So I had a couple school friends, but I was just. Did you prefer yeah. homeschooling? No. Do you think homeschooling is good? No. Okay. Not at all. <laughs> okay. I mean, when I did it, I liked it because I was really into gymnastics, and then the second year I did it, it was just like. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We're out of school now. Oh, so, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> like 10 years ago. We, do, we should probably get homeschooled for history. Oh, we I can help yeah. you. We yeah, can, I can teach you. You guys can we homeschool. Can homeschool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, history. that could be a yeah. series next time you're in the UK. I have all my books. Homeschooling yeah. <laughs> The big chalkboard. Teaching like, them. This is what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the other assumption is that you guys are happy to just, like, driving two hours is not far for you guys. To go somewhere. Whereas driving two hours for us would be like, that's far we're not going. That is, yeah, that's outrageous but you're used to yeah. traveling quite yeah, a lot yeah definitely because america is much more spread out than mm. like all the european countries because like you guys drive two hours and like well not you guys but like in like spain if you drive two hours mm. you can go to a different country you can be in yeah, yeah you can be yeah, on the yeah, other side true. of we're just yeah. going to a different state like sometimes we'll drive two hours to go to our grandparents house and like eat dinner or something we're, we're not in traffic because it's just, it's more yeah. like where we yeah. are, it's like more countryside ish yeah. okay. kind of thing, like mm-hmm. farm ish. Yeah. So it's like not crazy traffic. That's yeah. true. Like, like whereas for me, driving if an hour and a half, say, to my boyfriend, that's considered a long distance relationship. <laughs> are you in a long distance <laughs> relationship? That's, te- yes. Yeah, so that's long distance. That is long distance. <laughs> long distance for us would be if someone's in California yeah. and we're in Maryland yeah. and we're like, but trying... you never see each other. Yeah, you, ever. yeah. Oh, okay, wow. wow. Yeah, so even like 25 minutes to the road to my grandma's house, I'm like, oh, long. 25. That's crazy. Yeah. Shock it. I'm like, we... oh, half an hour now. Okay. <laughs> right, let's do this. <laughs> what? Do you, stop, do you stop for like bathroom breaks? And... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> McDonald's drive yeah, through. McDonald's. Yeah, everything. McDonald's <laughs> fries. Yeah. There you go. Fries. Fries, yeah. yeah. Not, not chips. We were talking about that earlier. So we were fries. saying that we call fries ch- chips and you call them fries. So yeah. that's just. For anyone who's not in yeah. on that <laughs> <laughs> Which none of them were. <laughs> we weren't filming. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so fries are thinner and from yeah. McDonald's yeah. and chips are thicker yeah. and with steak. Have I you guess. tried McDonald's in the UK yet? No, we haven't. Oh, we are just talking about that. Are going to film a video That's on that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. That'll do well for yeah. the <laughs> Yeah. Americans try British McDonald's. Honestly, that'll go down so well. I'd watch it. Yeah. Big Union Jack flag and like, oh. Your faces are like, what are these? This is tiny. Chips? Question mark? <laughs> we try a Big Mac, but it's that big. Yeah, yeah. Big Mac. <laughs> yeah. Uh, burgers uh, in America are no joke. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, American huge burgers are huge. Yeah. amazing, especially yeah. in Texas. Stunning. Huge. Oh yeah, we went to Whataburger. Oh yeah, that, that was Whataburger. big. Uh, that yeah. was huge. Mm-hmm. That, was that was delightful. So nice. Is that just a Texas thing? Whataburger. No. I think I had places, places, isn't it? Texas. Whataburger, Steak Shack. In and out. In and out. When you guys go to California. Oh my God. Have you had In and out. In and out and Chick fil A. Everyone goes on about Chick fil A. How amazing. We've never been. We, we need to go. We, we're a Chick fil A family. Oh, really? Like, if we have the option to go to Definitely. McDonald's or Subway or Chick fil A, we yeah. always okay. choose Chick fil A. Well, it sounds great because it's just chicken. I yeah. love chicken. Chicken's chicken. my favourite meat. Exactly. Is it like it's dipped in the equivalent... peanut oil? And it's really, really wow. good. Yeah. It's like That's a secret ingredient. It's peanut chicken. oil. Oh. Wow. You love peanut. I think I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. you definitely Amazing. would. Definitely try Chick fil A. Okay. But not on Sundays because it's closed. Oh, yeah. That's oh, the problem we had. We turned up to one, being yes. like, with our filming schedule in Texas, we're like, right, today, Sunday, we're going to go to Chick fil A. <gasps> closed. Oh. So we're it's like, because they're um, Christian. Religious. Yeah. So they're closed on Sundays. But besides that, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, those are all the assumptions thanks. we've had. Yeah. Thank you guys awesome. so really much good. for really doing this good. and being here with us. Yeah. It's so fun to film. Also, be sure to go check out the video on Joel and Leah's channel. Be sure to subscribe to them because they're amazing and we love them. And you guys already saw those awesome videos, I thought. Yeah. What? 
Oh yeah, that was awesome. Thank oh, you so much for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us in London. That's all right. Come back anytime. We love your country. It's pretty cool. So come visit us anytime. Yeah, we need to go to Maryland, Maryland, Maryland. We'll have some Chick Fil A. Yeah, Chick Fil A and crabs. Chick Fil A in your house, in your kitchen. We can homeschool you. Yeah, thanks. Fantastic. That's a date. I'm going to be adding Jill on Find My Friends. Yeah, we've got each other. Yeah, that's another thing that you guys just weren't there for. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Share with someone you like uh, or yeah. who would like this video. Excuse me. Uh, subscribe, subscribe to them, and thanks for watching. Like the video. Go like it up. Thank you guys. We love you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.